hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the trick for uh, system software to score well marks without studying much uh, because there is less time and it's important that you study only the relevant concepts especially if you have not studied ss at all this video is for you and make sure you watch till the end to get uh, to know what are the things you need to study don't miss any part of it otherwise you you may get stuck in backlog again okay this is the minimum requirement what you need to study for getting at least passing marks okay not only passing marks you can easily score 60 mark if you pay some attention okay so what i am telling is that there are two things divided into like the first is one to four modules which are very easy and the second is three five modules which is very hard okay so in the uh, module one and three and five in all these three there are numericals okay numericals means you have to generate the object code you have to make some graphs and you have to do the shift reduce parsing those things and all okay in this video i am talking uh, without those things okay those things can uh, you can get the marks around um, 40 marks from that but the theory marks will be around 60 marks okay so if you study only the theory you can easily pass the subject okay so what i am telling is what is the important concept in the theory so there are totally around 15 to 16 questions in the theory which you can easily score marks in so firstly you have to start from the module 1 2 and 4 okay so in the module 1 i have pick three important topics these are the most repeated topics like it's repeated more than five times okay so this is the thing which you need to study SICXC machine architecture machine architecture you cannot leave why you cannot leave because in the machine architecture there are many uh, other things like the number of registers what is the memory and uh, what is the different addressing modes those things are there it's present in the notes okay i'll be making a separate video regarding the solutions part and explaining like a quick revision what are the important concepts in each uh, topic but this video is just for uh, making you uh, aware of what are the topics you need to focus upon so you can start the preparation right now okay so you have to study this uh, this is the first thing and the second thing is the as algorithm for the pass one and pass two it's a like one page algorithm for pass one one page algorithm for pass two write it four to five times it's easy you can easily understand because there are patterns in it and if you want more information regarding how to uh, memorize this ones i'll make a separate video regarding that also i've made this video in the earlier part like in the modules uh, when i was making the videos you can refer that part also in the module one there is a timestamp called pass one and pass two as algorithm there i've explained the trick how you can remember it easily so easily how many marks you can get 15 marks okay if these two questions come it's very repeated uh, concepts okay and if you are done with these two then only go to the third part in the third third part you have a uh, small small topics like program relocation what does it mean and how it is relevant to the uh, system software control section what is program linking literals expressions program blocks along with the syntax and example if it's required and in some there is a quote snippet also you can skip that for now only to focus on the theoretical concepts okay so how many they ask for each you can get two to three marks easily you can get here 16 marks right so this is the most repeated concepts make sure you go through this uh, concepts in the module one after you have done with the module one go to the module two in module two also you have very few topics like three topics are important there are seven phases okay phases means what you will start from one phase go to the other phase and third phase and finally you will reach what output this is the input this is the output in between you have only five phases okay that five if uh, the five phases if you remember by using an example there is an example called position is equal to init into 60 plus rate something it's uh, in that way if you remember that the phases of uncompare is a very repeated topic okay you can get seven marks easily and after you have done that go to lexical recovery options there are two things input bu uh, buffer and uh, two buffer technique all these concepts i have explained in depth and how to remember these uh, concepts in the theoretical videos you can go through that okay and timestamp also are available you need not find uh, or waste much time in finding those okay so lexical recovery uh, recovery option that's an important topic and input buffering you have to focus more upon okay input buffering is the first one you have to explain what it is and by using a relevant diagram you have to explain using an example and then we have the transition diagram there are four important concepts relop identifier unsigned numbers and keywords and you can get two to three marks for each of these okay so it's very easy concept you'll get hardly 10 minutes you can easily memorize each of these there's a pattern in it and you can easily uh, fetch marks in this uh, this one as well so that's all for module one and two so uh, means again going through a quick uh, recap what I told machine architecture pass one and pass two half page so let's calculate how much time it will take for this it will take around half an hour if you pay a focus you can easily complete this in half an hour pass one and pass two you have to write five five times so it, I'll take it as one hour so one and a half hour over and this one will take 10 minutes okay you just have to know what it is don't go into depth only know what it is okay so one hour 40 minutes and here what you have seven phases this will take another 20 minutes so two hours and this one uh, it will take 10 minutes and 10 minutes 20 minutes 2 or 20 minutes let's take it as 2 or 30 minutes okay and here in uh, module 3 only you have two uh, only one concept which is theory and it's sufficient for you you just have to know that role of a parser error recovery it will take 5 minutes only for you okay 
and here is lmd rmd is already you know by the automata if you remember it's okay even if it's not it's coming into the hard module so you can skip that okay so here you can uh, if you know the role of parse and error recovery strategy you can get eight marks okay <clears throat> Then what we have is the module 4 and the total time is 2 hour uh, 40 minutes as of now and here you have the structure of Lex and Yak. Three things you have to define variables, rule section and user section. In these three things if you know the syntax you can easily give an example and uh, explain your own words what does variable means. What does variable means the variables which you are using like the int um, i and op or s what are the things you are using for the count and all for incrementing and decrementing that you have to define here. Then we have the rule section in the rule section you are defining the logic what should happen how the pattern should be identified. Remember the SS lab programs there I told right in the middle you have the rule section what all you need to write those things you can use here as well and then you have the user section in user section you'll have int wrap int uh, yy error and uh, int main those three things you'll have in the user section okay so that's all what you have to explain in the structure of lex and yak we need not write the exact syntax but you have to mention what are the things present in it okay like syntax explanation example and code snippet there you can get 8 marks it's very much repeated topic then we have the programs parts of speech word count 1 2 and 6 if you get time you can memorize this as well 1 2 and 6 you already know from the lab you just have to revise word count is a small uh, 2 to 3 line snippet code i'll make a separate video to, uh, regarding the uh, solution part so for now just if you get this answer it's okay otherwise i'll uh, release that video also soon okay parts of speech all program is also there in the notes you can easily go through it okay then we have the lecture parser communication and regular expression this already we know from the automator and lecture parser communication will take you five minutes to read so completing module 4 is just a matter of half an hour so three hours are uh, done then we have the module 5 in module 5 also many the uh, many uh, numericals are there this, this comes under the hard topic okay if you are uh, focusing on theory make sure you never miss this one issues in code generation is a very much repeated topic you can ask any of your faculties also they will also tell issues in code generation is an important topic in module 5 so you can easily fetch 7 to 8 marks by you uh, by just studying 5 issues there are 5 issues in code generation 5 or 4 you can easily get this many marks if the question comes okay and this will take you around uh, 20 minutes here so 3 hour 20 minutes and this will take you around another 10 minutes so 3 or 30 minutes right so even if you start at night uh, 2 a.m for studying you can easily focus you if you study you will complete it at, at max by 6 a.m it will not take more than that time but don't start at 2 a.m like an idiot but start before and uh, complete it okay so that's all for this video and make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel that helps me make more videos like this and i'll release the video of other subjects also soon and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one